What's up guys, I'm back with another vlog. First of all, wishing you a warm, happy new year, 2023. I know it's too late and it's the middle of uh, January, but uh, yeah, I was waiting for a product and I wanted to uh, shoot that video, uh, which will be useful for every one of you. So that's the reason why it took me time to come and share you this update and also wish you a warm happy new year so let's just cut everything short and get along the video <clears throat> so talking about this product the company have been uh, doing a lot of r and d's on this uh, the research and development and uh, finally came up with this product for all the 390 adventures because a lot of uh, people uh, across the country and across the globe whoever has a 390 adventure have been grumbling about the headlight assembly now you know why it is because uh, the headlight assembly is being uh, installed on the bike and being supported with two uh, metal frames basically on the left and on the right now let's say if you are accelerating your bike from 0 to 30 or 0 to 40 or let's say you're revving your bike you can see the front assembly the headlight assembly starts shaking the dashboard keeps shaking a lot and there's a lot of vibration over there now the two metals doesn't do the job so for that to eradicate that kind of a problem the company came up with uh, one solution to make a frame a kind of a brace for the headlight assembly so that it will be much more easier for everyone to ride properly and the vibration to reduce to 90%. Now, it is also beneficial for all the off-road riders because you know, off-road is a place where too much of vibration comes in to play. And that causes uh, the headlight assembly sometimes uh, uh, get, uh, sorry, the headlight bolts to get uh, loosen up. Now, to avoid all those things and to make it stiff, this product was introduced. So cutting short everything, let me show it to you which product what is the brand and how exactly uh, it can be installed So there you go you got to see the product from Motren. now i might uh, not pronounce the name of the brand correctly but uh, yeah you've got to see the product now this is uh, the neck brace uh, from uh, the brand uh, and uh, it will be installed on the bike now i will be taking the product and i'll get it installed on the bike i'll show you how it is installed now you might have seen on the glimpse of the product where uh, one product doesn't have the bolts on it and the other one has now the reason why i had to uh, keep it that way uh, so that it will be much more easier to know which bolt needs to be attached uh, on which section so uh, i will be again uh, showing you when while installation but yeah uh, so if you have any queries and uh, anything please do let me know and again, if you like my videos, I know a lot of people are liking my videos and uh, sharing the comments. I really appreciate that. And I'm happy for all the people who have joined my family. So uh, keep loving, uh, share uh, and uh, do comment and please like my video. You can follow me on uh, Instagram as well. It's uh, TravMoto46 again. To see. There you go. As you can see, my noisy boy on her new skin that's the desert scheme so the neck brace from Motrin and a few bolts over here so I'll get it installed on the bike right away so just want to give you a heads up the four bolts basically the four allen key two over here and two over here will be removed uh, but we'll install in three places, two over here and one over here. The fourth one, the last one have to be removed only to loosen the bracket so that uh, I can place uh, 
this part this part between the two brackets so it will go inside so I'll show you how it is placed I have my toolkit uh, ready as you can see my toolkit is ready over here and I'll start the process so over here the space is very less so you use this allen key instead uh, that has been provided uh, with the bike and it will help you to unscrew these bolts so you can see so it is easy to unscrew you need to do for the bottom one as well and on the other side so the bolt is almost loose I'm just taking it off and I have also unscrewed the bottom one as well so this is the bolt it's been removed now you can see the other one at the bottom has been unscrewed but I'm not going to remove it however I just wanted to make a slight bit of a gap so that I can place the bracket so this is how you are gonna do see so you can see there's a gap over here so between these two plates the the neck brace should go over here so I have unscrewed the other two bolts and I'm just removing it okay <laughs> this one is one sorry about that there you see all bolts been removed except the bottom one over here I just uh, placed it so all the three bolts have been removed except the third one at the bottom over there so that is not required you just have to just loosen it up so that you can uh, place the brace between these two plates so this is the brace I have already put the bolts the smaller bolts on the right hand side and the left one where my thumb is you'll have the bigger bolt so with two different types of washer as you can see uh, one a plastic and the other one is a steel one or a metal whatever you can call it and this will go over here at the front and the, this one between the plate over here so as you can see the plate has been placed as of right now two washers have been placed over here you will be using uh, the bolts provided by Motrim these are the ones the two short ones will go over here and the bigger one will go over here as you can see the plate the neck brace is being placed between two frames and uh, we'll be using the stock allen key provided by the ktm and this will help you to smoothen the work and get your job done so this is how it will look so i'll repeat the same process on the other side as well and once that is done then i'll show you how the bike looks so as i mentioned earlier the last bowl at the bottom is not required to be removed so that was only for a bit because once the plate has been placed and bolts have been uh, placed uh, that has been provided by the motorum company this is the last bowl that will be replaced because you can see there's a plastic washer over here the reason why this is given because once you place the brace between two frames there's a gap that gets created for the bottom as well so the stock bolt is not long enough to fill the gap so they have provided a bigger bolt with a washer that can be placed so while placing this washer you need to place it between two frames and place it carefully because it's very difficult sometimes it becomes very irritating to place the washer between two bolts sorry two frames and with a very small room to uh, tighten the bolt so be careful and that should do the job 
tighten the bolts in a crisscross pattern like this 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 and this slowly and steadily and once done the brace will be intact and this will give support to the head right assembly in a proper manner so there we go uh, i've installed the right hand side and uh, there has been a, a problem uh, honestly, <laughs> uh, this happens sometimes and uh, the problem is with the brace. So as you can see, the right hand side has been installed properly and uh, it's the same one over here as well. On my hand, which I'm holding, it's again for the right hand side. So I'll switch it to the other side, the left hand side. So there you go, bolts have been removed, however I cannot install, this one goes over here and I cannot install it. So this is the left hand side, now this is a big uh, problem. Now. I have to wait, I have already spoken uh, with the uh, the person working over there in Motrim and they have uh, assured me that they are going to ship it tomorrow. So once that is uh, shipped and once I receive it, I will get it installed on the bike and then I will show you how the bike is. So for now, see you, I will see you as soon as the product arrives. side which I was waiting for now I can get this thing installed on the bike uh, with that I am thankful for providing the sticker kit which I did not get on the first one but uh, thank you once again and with all the bolts for left and the right with the washers a complete set so I'll quickly get this thing installed on the bike and we'll do a quick test run to see how it feels on the bike and uh, We'll see you in a bit. So there you go. The left hand side bracket has been installed as you can see with the bolt. It was a little bit tedious but uh, finally it's been installed. Uh, I took a test run on the bike and uh, it turns out to be good. Uh, there's little uh, cabling work that is required. I need to place these cables somewhere else basically uh, I have to replace it again uh, apart from that everything is good so the bike looks fantastic with the uh, brace and uh, I could feel that uh, the vibration has reduced to the max and uh, hopefully on a long run it uh, does the job so this one and this one over here so all done and dusted now hopefully uh, this uh, video was informative for every one of you and I uh, hope you like the information and the product from Motrim and uh, if you like my video please do share and do comment so I'll see you on the next vlog bye for now